In the last video we have seen how we can map a simple one-to-one -one relationship between the spatial graves that we have and the table of graves and how we can extract information from this table of graves with for example grave length, depth and so on and map them using our spatial information. In this video we will try to achieve a bit more advanced and that is um, mapping a one-to-many relationship. And for this we need a virtual layer and also we will need um, a bit of SQL but it will not be so problematic I can assure you. Okay at first we have to get our um, types per grave and I go back here to the uh, uh, to, to LibreOffice Calc, where I've already selected the, um, the database and we have already before created this type per grave query. Um, so we can use that. Again, copy and paste here and I did that already. So we have here the individual grave numbers and the artifacts that are within these graves. So now I can save this as a CSV file, and I did that before, so that's why this file is already there. Muscovitch types per grave. I save it, say yes, and OK. And now I can load that into QGIS by adding again a layer like we did before, a delimited text layer. So I select this file here, types per grave. And again, it's a CSV file, so we don't have to change anything here. And the settings for records and field options seem to be OK because the sample data down here look fine. And we have no geometry here, so we select no geometry, attribute table only. And click on Add. So when I close this and look to the attribute table here by right clicking it and choosing attribute table, I can see that we have several accounts of the different artifacts here and we have one column for each artifact. And one grave can contain multiple artifacts, so we have a one-to-many relationship. And to map this, we need a virtual layer. We can create one by clicking on Layer and Add Layer and create here a virtual layer. Add Edit Virtual Layer. Okay, and I've did that before, that's why this is already pre-selected, but I remove this here and there we start. Okay, at first we have to give it a name. So let's say types per grave VL for virtual layer. You can name it like as you like. Now we have to import two embedded layers. And the first we have to import is the graves layer, but not this one. This is the limited one. I should have renamed them. Um, the last one here. So this is a, the virtual layer uh, which the provider is Ogre, which means it is this shape file here. And that's where our geo um, coordinates are stored in. And the other one we would like to import is the types per grave layer. So here we have them. And now we have to define this relationship. Unfortunately, since we are not inside of a database system, we have to do it on our own that's not so dramatically. Here's already a bit of help down below but what we need is we have to select everything. That's why the, the star is there. From Miskovic Graves these are our uh, points and remember some of the graves do not have any um, burial items. So we have to specify that also those graves that don't have any burial items still are included in this data set. That's what we can uh, we can achieve this by um, using an option that's called left join. Left join means this left hand side all the items from them will be included and these will be joined by all the items from Miskovice types per grave. So 
Now we have defined which table we are using, what we would like to have, everything. Now we have to define um, how is the connection between Miskovic graves and Miskovic types per grave. And this is done by where Miskovic graves dot id is equal to Miskovic types per grave dot grave number. And you can see there are also already some suggestions. If I start typing, then some suggestions will pop up. Okay, so this is what defines our connection here. These are the sources and the geometry. We might trust that uh, QJS will auto detect the geometry that is stored within this shapefile here. So we can just get add and close that. So here is our virtual layer, and I will remove the original graves here, that we only see them. Okay, they are already mapped, that's nice. But now we want to see the different artifacts in here. For that, we click on Properties and change the symbology to Categorized. So here is Symbology. I want to have a categorized symbology in relation to Name. This is the name of the individual artifacts, and I click on Classify to get now colors for the different artifacts here. And now I can see all of them. And I can click to OK. And when I click here on this small little triangle, I can see all the different artifacts, and I can mark them on and off. So now I mark all of them off. And uh, quite a lot. Now I can start marking individual ones on again. So let's see, for example, where we have brown spirals only down here. That's not so much. Ceramic shirts, we have different burials. Um, not Mringe, for example, we have multiple burials. So here are some, and here are some, and here are some. So with this, we can also map different artifact categories with QGIS using the spatial information that we have just digitized and the um, information from the database that we exported via CSV file connected via a virtual layer using a join function. A bit of SQL involved, but still it's not, I think it was not too problematic. Um, another approach to this would be to export the coordinates from our digitization to the database and then create a query within the database. Then we could avoid the SQL, but we would have to store the data in a different form. So you might think what is the best option for you. Um, I will also show you how you can export the information of the original points with the coordinates to a CSV file that can then also be included into the LibreOffice base database.